Hi everyone, welcome to Johnson's Journeys, Season 7, Episode 6. Today we're back for two more league games uh, towards the end of January. Uh, we've got Ghent and then Oostend. Um, I've just played through the winter break and I've played two league games since we came back. Um, we had a 0-0 draw with uh, STVV. And then we've just had a 2 all draw with uh, Beveren. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Um, one of the goal scorers there, John Molina, um, is probably a name you don't recognise, um, which leads me nicely on to um, our transfers so far. As predicted in the last episode, um, it's been a busy one. Um, I told you we were signing Wachlauswicz. Um, we've also signed four more players. Uh, well, Kovacevic, you don't really need to worry about. Um, but as I say, John Molina has come in. He is a 20-year-old Peruvian central midfielder who we've signed for just over 11 million from Pachuca in Mexico. Uh, comes in as a sort of uh, playmaking midfielder. Um, is a wonder kid and has five-star potential and is already a key player of the first team. Um, so I'm very excited to see him play. Um, we've also signed Mauro Matthew. 19 year old uh, Belgian striker from Ghent um, we paid his release clause of 23 million um, he's had a couple of good years and I tried to get him in the summer um, didn't quite happen but we've got him now um, again a very good player will hopefully develop into a great player he's also down as a wonder kid um, and finally St Maxim a player you're probably aware of 25 now French winger uh, decent player, um, just comes in to provide some uh, width, um, quite pacey, good at dribbling, good at crossing. Um, so yeah, he's in from Monaco on loan until the end of the season. Now, um, you're thinking, why have you signed Molina um, and Maxim, I suppose, to an extent, you know, we've already got centre midfielders and uh, wingers. Well, we don't, because as you can see here, um, We've had one, two, three of our better um, younger players leave for big transfers. Um, Gaspar has left for Leipzig. Um, they matched his release clause of 12.75 million. He's not had a great year, actually. Um, as you can see there, a less than seven average rating. No goals, just the one assist in the league. Um, and with Poirier, and obviously now we've got Molina, quite happy to let him go. Um, he'll probably go on to have a very good career, and um, a player I'm pretty certain I'll come across again, either as a um, manager of a team that he's at, or will face him uh, somewhere. He will go on to be one of the better players in the in the world, maybe not in the world, but you know, a very very good player. Um, as I mentioned in the last episode. Uh, these sort of players um, are almost getting sort of too big for the club and we're going to struggle to keep hold of them but um, I've made sure we've got what I think is, is good uh, fees for them um, on that theme Reese Nelson has left for Southampton again they matched his release clause of just under 15 million on the flip side to Gaspar Nelson has had a really good season um, 5 goals, 12 assists in the league um, so he's going to be a massive miss and I haven't yet uh, replaced him with a, an adequate level of uh, winger as I say St Maxim's come in and I think he'll do a decent job but um, I think we're going to have to wait till the summer to sign a proper uh, replacement for Nelson but we wish him all the best no doubt he'll um, probably have a couple of years at Southampton and then end up at Liverpool so um, also, Boston's gone back out on loan to Lies now that we've got uh, Matthew in. Uh, Sophie and kayeen has gone out on loan to Charleroi. Um, we've got Cherny's gone out on loan to Mainz. vozvodic has gone out on loan to Rapid Vienna. So, as I say, we're a bit short out wide. Um, and then the two other transfers for money. Uh, Hans Van Aken has left for Bait Borisov, 30-year-old um, midfielder probably passed his best although his um, return this season maybe suggests otherwise but I've cashed in regardless I think that Poirier and um, Molina are 
a lot better options so um, happy to, to let him go bit of a maybe not a club legend but has been a good player at the club for a number of years uh, so wish him all the best and finally uh, for 12 million pounds Octavian Murasan has departed for Roma um, a player with a lot of interest in him um, has had a really good rating so far this season not as many assists as last year um, but was linked with um, well obviously Roma and I think Barcelona were in for him as well but um, it was Roma um, we got 12 million for him potential to go up to 17 and a half um, so again I think I've, we've done quite well to get that much for him the only downside with the Murasan deal is that um, we are incredibly short at right back um, now we've got Wiklausic in um, we've obviously got him, Danny Rose and Willems the young left back however at right back we've only got Grace Kabangu as it stands um, who is good but uh, not brilliant so um, in these last few days before the window shuts a right back is the priority um, I'll bring you any news of that before the second half of the, the, the game in the second half of this episode right so that's all covered um, into the game today then Ghent uh, this is the team Debusser in goal Kabangu Krizonikov Wouters and Waklauswicz Sasa and Molina Alexiev Sanchez Saint Maxim and Mauro Matthew leads the line Tristar is back from injury but not quite fully fit for this will probably play off the bench um, Matthew didn't look particularly good in, well there you go 6.3 in his one game for us so far uh, so I don't know if he'll last the whole game um, but Klaus Rich has looked average so far in his two games Molina um, average in his first and then came off the bench and scored in the last game so yeah uh, and this is St Maxim's debut um, so yeah a uh, bit short now a lot of these are sort of 17 year old players Willems, Aich, Frings, Deutschnitz, Verstrat and Matthew um, Ugo Chukwu, Boonen we're looking to move on Hajdu's there as Sasa's back up and Nowak's just another keeper so um, the squad is a bit sort of threadbare at the moment we are out of money as well so could be an interesting second half of the season um, might rely on a couple of loan deals to see us through um, but yes um, we'll send assistance to that you may have seen the league table there but I'll I'll uh, talk you through it again in a second when it comes up on the side of the screen or wherever it comes up um, we are still top with seven games to play well six games after this um, we are already assured of a championship group slot um, we are eight points clear of Anderlecht as it stands taking into account this point um, so we are doing well um, oh Sasa yes come on 1-0 Alexia free kick Sasa taps it in the perfect start um, keeper fumbled it and Sasa was first to respond Ghent as it stands are fifth um, and they look like they're nearly assured a top six place a um, little bit of a battle below them they're not really involved um, Anderlecht are the, the only team really capable of taking us on and oh my god Kabangu oh crikey Kabangu's given Larson a goal um, don't really know where the rest of the team were Debusa sort of just stood there. <sighs> Great stuff. Um, right back is definitely uh, on the cards. I am in for a couple of right backs, so hopefully something can happen sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, getting through towards half time, um, and it's still one all. I haven't seen much out of the new boys yet. Matthew, Maxime, Molina, Klauswicz, 
all a bit quiet. Um, probably take them a, a few games to settle in. Um, I'm not a big fan of, well, not squad overhauls. It's not squad overhaul, but departure and arrival of new um, important first team players. I, I don't like doing it in January if I can help it, but um, the money we were offered for uh, Murasan. Gaspar and Nelson it was hard to turn down, so we sort of had to. Um, I guess so. If we ready that um, passionately say a lot more. Passionately say, go out there, show everyone what you're capable of. Matthew is one I'm going to have to keep my eye on because I took a bit of a punt on him. Um, 23 and a half million uh, so he sort of needs to pay me back uh, well not personally but um, yeah he needs to needs to turn up I know it's against his old team but you know um, I think Tristar will be on soon anyway so uh, he hasn't got long Molina well tackled and we uh, play it out. Alexiev now. Matthew needs to get up there and support. Go on. Oh, just wide. Unlucky. Unlucky. Bit better though from him. Um, approaching the hour mark. And it's going to be triple sub time. Poirier for Molina. Rick for Sanchez. Tristar for Matthew. Um, see if that can change anything. Normally I'd take Kabangu off, but we don't have anyone to ring on for him, so tough. Um, yeah, good ball that is from Klauswich to Sasa to Tristar to Maxime. Yes, no, it's not Maxime. Maximin. Alan Sant Maximin uh, on his debut. Tristar with the immediate impact with the flick on and we reclaim the lead um, great stuff we've got half an hour to hold on can we do it um, takes us 10 points clear of Anderlecht and 12 clear of Genk I believe we've got have we got both of them to play yet I feel like we have so uh, I think Anderlecht are net actually after um, whoever's in the second oost end that's right I think it's Andalect after them so Kabangu I don't mind you going forward but make sure you get back Poirier Sasa Frick Sasa Alexia through to Sasa but um, intercepted now Fokit Fokit down the right Wouters is out of position and De Busa saves from Larson, but he pops the rebound in. Uh, well, Klaus Rich was out of position. Wooters came across. Krizilnikov was left with Larson. Um, De Busa did well initially, but couldn't keep the second one out. I'm going to go attack him, see if that can uh, get us the win. Not got long left. Um, a draw would be okay. Just not ideal. We hadn't drawn until, um, well, before the new year, and now we've drawn three in a row. So, I mean, it's better than no points, but um, can't keep doing it if Anderlecht are going to keep winning. So, that's a good ball, though. Intercepted. Out for a throw, and we win. Uh, we draw. Um, I'll see you shortly then for the next game. Okay, we're back for the Oosten game. Apologies about the shirt. I'm uh, off to football in a minute. Um, the transfer window has slammed shut um, and we didn't get much done. Um, we... Yeah, no, just the one signing. Elias Lopez has joined. Um, 22-year-old Argentinian right-back 
joins for a very reasonable 3.4 million from uh, River. Um, has never been sort of fantastic. He's had a lot of sort of loan spells. He's been at Porto, um, Lorient in the top leagues in Portugal and France respectively. Um, and now he joins um, us here at Club Bruges. Um, and he will get his debut today. Um, not familiar with the system yet or particularly fit, um, but does get a start. Um, so it'd be Debuser in goal, Lopez, Krasilnikov, Wouters, and uh, The Claw at left back. Um, Wuklausnic, or whatever his name is. Wuklausic? Yeah, that's too complicated. So he's now The Claw. Um, we've got Hajdu and Molina in central midfield. Sasa is suspended, um, and Molina comes in. Um, because Poirier was quite quiet in the last game. Um, we've got Alexiev on the left. Saint Maximin keeps his place on the right, does he? Yes, he does. There's no one else. I don't know who I'm looking for down there. Um, and Sanchez is in the hole. And Tristar gets his start today on his comeback from injury. Bench looking pretty strong. Um, everyone's, well, yeah, there's no injuries to talk of. Um, just a few of the youth players that are. Slightly unfit because of, well, not match ready because they're playing for the reserves. We don't need them anyway. So, let's get into the game. Um, slightly concerning that the fullbacks and one of the wingers and one of the central midfielders are new. Um, they're quite vital areas in this team. So, um, we need them to settle in quickly. Uh, the Claw has played three games um and he's averaging a 6.7, which is so it's okay. Molina's looked okay as well. Obviously has that goal. Um, and St. Maximin obviously scored on his debut. Um, so he started uh, very well. Uh, and we've started very well in this game. One up in the fourth minute. Uh, Wouters with the goal. Um, was floated in from Alexiev. Um towards the back post. Krasilnikov gets up and or was it no no it was one of the defenders um beat Krasilnikov but headed it straight to Wouters. Uh the captain makes it one nil. Um best possible start. Can we get this away and break? Lopez clears it but the furthest man forward is Wouters which is massively concerning. Look at that gap there. Um we just about do something with it, but they are through. But Debusa clears, well, saves even. Um, Wouters went walkabout, and then Carlos Sanchez was there um, getting back, which is just, I don't want that. Um, Tristar's bringing it away here. Um, Manages to win a throw in very far up in their half, um, which is fantastic. Great to have him back. Hopefully, the injury hasn't affected him too much. Um, hopefully you can um, storm out the blocks and uh, get back on the score sheet as soon as possible. Lopez ball in, not quite enough on that. Krasilnikov should deal with this. Um, play a pass, yeah, Hajdu's there. Straight out to the left, yeah, the claw. Ball in, no, but Alexio picks it up. Hajdu, yes, come on. That's his first ever goal for Club Bruges in the 20th minute. 2-0 um, up. Uh, the Claw tried to whip it in. It was blocked, but Alexiev picked it up, laid it back to Hajdu, and he uh, smashed it in. Tristar picked up a good position there as well, so that's pleasing to see. That's usually his sort of finish at the front post, but um, another defensive midfielder that's found his scoring boots. Um, him and Sasser have probably got nearly 10 goals between them this season, albeit only one is uh, Hajdu's. Um, shot there from Rooster but nothing to uh, concern ourselves with. Coming forward again, Alexiev to Sanchez, and then Molina. That's another goal for him. Um, I think that's two in four, or something like that. Um, he's come in and made an instant impact thought Sanchez was going to do something with it there, but Molina mopped it up and smashed it in for 3-0 after 25 minutes. Um, 
and this takes us 11 points clear at the top with five games to play um, well no that's not true entirely great ball out to the claw oh and just wide good bit of play though um, we look electric going forward today Alexi I've getting two assists as well which is uh, brilliant don't think he's particularly got that many this year but uh, good that he's picked a couple more up there um, we are pretty much at half time um, Tristar pretty quiet so far um, I'm going to tell him calm there's no pressure on you tonight um, he's just coming back from injury we shouldn't expect too much from him um, glad to have him back really we've had a bit of a Goals have dried up a little bit while he's been out. Um, Boston, I think, was probably the best replacement for him, but uh, obviously he's gone back out on loan. Uh, Matthew looks like he's going to be slow to settle in. Um, if it stays like this for another 10, 15 minutes, then he will find himself on the pitch. Um, don't want too much out of TriStar just yet. I don't want to risk another injury. Saying that, we are going to get him off. Can Matthew play as a complete forward? He can. That's fine then. Um, that'll do, I think. Um, Wingers is going to be an issue. Um, we're going to have to rely on Deprez, pretty much. Um, although he's not even on the bench today for some reason. I think I forgot. Um, but yeah he has looked good uh, what we've seen from him this year so good save from Debu so that is um, coming close probably a little bit too late for a comeback don't say things like that um, claimed pump it long then give it to Matthew Matthew Wooters plays it out Alexia Sanchez to Matthew Oh, that was the weirdest touch ever, but tackled and then won it back and then lost it, but won it back. Coming forward. Oh, and fires it in, but nothing came of it. We are going to get Prick on for Sanchez, Poirier on for Alina. Mm, no. We're going to get Cabangu on for Lopez. It is Lopez's debut, so... Um, yeah, seem, seems a good player. Not seen a lot out of him, but um, looks steady enough. Um, 22 as well, ideal sort of age. Um, trying to sell old and buy young, although him for Murasan was a pretty much um, age direct swap. I think they were both 22. So uh, Rick bringing it forward. Has a go, but it goes over the bar. Alexiev has a twisted knee. I hope that's not too serious because we don't really have any wingers. Going to have to be Indy Boone and getting a run in the team then by the looks of it. Um, another chance coming here. Kabangu, Rick, ball in, cleared. Molina to Hajdu. Molina again. Kabangu, tackled, penalty? No. Cleared. Etundi coming forward. It's about four on one in terms of who's the one. Um, but no, nah, nothing came of that. And we are pretty much there. And just the one minute of added time. And I think that's going to be it, yeah. Pump that forward. Blow the whistle. There we go. Full time. 3 0. Great performance from the boys, great performance from Alexiev, um, and that keeps us clear at the top. Happy days. Um, Alexiev's out for mm, two weeks, that's not too bad, I suppose. Um, and Ruben off alone for Hugo Chukwu. Do you know what? He can go. Right, so I think I've already said how I'm going to break this down, I now can't remember. Um, oh yeah we'll do the two Malmo games as one episode um, I'll play Anderlecht now 
then we'll miss Yupanov in the middle. Um, then depending on our progress in that, um, it'll probably either be Genk and Lochran, the two final Pro League games um, before the Championship group, or the next round of the Europa League, depending on if we get there and where it falls. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, then make sure you pop a like on it. Um, finally picked up our first win since Boxing Day, um, which is pretty bad, isn't it, really? But, um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll play on now. Hopefully we can keep winning. Um, so yeah, if you like it, pop a like on it. I've said that one. Um, what's the other one? Oh, subscribe. That's, yeah, I should write a script. Um, subscribe if you're new, if you'd like to see more. Um, I've noticed a lot of the older videos are now getting a few more likes, uh, views even. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, um, keep doing that. We're nearly up to three and a half thousand views, I think. So that's pretty, pretty good. Um, plenty more coming, don't you worry. Um, cool. Wish me luck for football. Um, try not to break my legs. And we'll see you again very soon.